Hi everyone, it's Amanda here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to create really quick and easy cards that you can make in 10-20 minutes. I'm also going to be using a rainbow palette but you can use any combination you like and also if you would like to turn these ones into Christmas cards you can do so by changing the color palette and the sentiment and you're good to go. So let's see how to do it and I hope you enjoy the video. So these are some of the supplies I'm using today. I am using brushes to apply the ink to the cardstock. Also these are the Distress Oxidings I'm going to be using and also a background stamp, some dyes. And just keep in mind that I'm using a rainbow palette today, but you can use any colors you want. You can even use different tones or shades of the same color. And that's also gonna work very well together with these projects. Now uh, here what I'm doing is just I am marking where my color needs to go because I'm using a dye that has two leaf branches, let's say, but they don't separate, I cannot separate them. So I really need to know where to place them, but you can completely forget about this if you are using independent dyes. The only thing you need to do is apply color and then die cut uh, your dye on each color that you apply. I am uh, following a rainbow order here and you can just follow the order you want and the colors you want. The supplies will be listed below the video as always and in the first comment you will find a link to the visual supply list in case you have trouble finding any product. Also if I forget to list anything please let me know and if you're interested and you do buy something through my links I will get a small commission at no cost to you but that really helps me keeping my channel going so thank you for that. Once I have all the leaves ready and dry, it's time to create a wreath by placing them in kind of a circle shape. Now I'm doing this directly on my card base because this is going to be a really quick and simple card, so I'm not going to be adding more layers. And of course, after taking a while to put this together, I'm going to be using my most used trick, which is press and seal to keep everything in place and then stick it to the card. But before that, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And once all the sequins are in place, this card is ready and we can move on to the second one. Now for the second one, I'm going to just use a background stamp and I'm going to stamp it directly on my card base again. I'm not using any layers today. And this second card is actually 
faster than the first one. I mean, you can make this one in 10, 15 minutes tops. And now I have some bad news because I turned off the camera and forgot to turn it back on, of course. So you can see here what I did is really simple. I just blended, blended these four colors, then stamped the sentiment, added a few sequins, and that's it. Really, really simple and really, really quick. So that's all for today. These are the two cards that I have made. I hope you like them. And thank you, thank you so much for being there. See you soon. Thank you so much for watching, here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you are already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon, bye!